Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the tutorial where I want to teach you something about how you can design your own graphics for your social media without having to use Photoshop. Now we know uh, Photoshop is not an easy software to, to deal with. Uh, you need to be to learn it and be quite creative for you to come up with something really nice looking now that's not for everyone now you are so lucky because you can design your own nice looking graphics uh, for you for for your social media advertising or, or for your websites by just using canva.com which is a service that allows you to design your own graphics now these graphics could be social media graphics could be posters banners flyers presentations and so on and so forth all right so the first thing you need to do is to basically just go to canva.com on your browser i'm in uh, firefox right now so canva.com all right and then the next thing you need to do is get started by actually creating our account i'm just gonna supply my name here i'll just say okay my name is alexander what do i do uh basically i have a small business and um, we can go ahead and say get started all right so we could um, sign up using google or we can just throw in an email and uh, in the password i'm just gonna cre uh, use my email so me at um, uh, intembenuzeni.com and i'm just gonna um, uh, sorry for that I'm just gonna have to put a valid and at at sign here all right my password I'm just gonna have to generate a password um, I'm good and then I'm gonna say I'm not a robot all right oh okay so now capture uh, crosswalks I don't know let's um, see that and um, that's great verify and we good. so sign up with email it wants to save the, the, the uh, username and password yes all right and um, that's it so uh, the next thing is basically saying we can invite our team now for us to be able to have a team here it would have to be a paid uh, account so I'll just go ahead and skip this and uh, basically it says we can start we can now get started designing something all right, I will just, um, uh, for getting started, let me see what we have. So you can design things like Instagram posts or logos, Facebook posts, Facebook covers, social media graphics or flyers. We also have, um, uh, now these are the most common for small businesses since it's the profile that I use, but um, it's been broken down into social media, some documents that you want to print or something personal like uh, cards you want to send or calendars, all right? Anything about education like schedules, worksheets. Look, we can, we have lots of stuff here for marketing probably like logos or posters or flyers and so on and so forth. I'm just going to go ahead and start with something very basic and um, it's going to have to be a... Uh, probably let's say it's a Facebook post so I'll click Facebook post and um, this will take me to now the designer view okay so now that it's loaded you can see that um, we now have the interface and uh, on the left hand side we have uh, let's start from the top side okay so from the top side we can go back to the home all right uh, we'll see that later but you uh, basically you can go to file and basically see some um, different options for example this is a Facebook post and uh, these are the sizes uh, the great thing about Canva is that it actually when you select a design it already creates the base size for that design which is quite great and probably you may want to show your margins and uh, probably you may want to show print bleed basically if you print where, where is it going to and I'm just gonna take out print pre bleed because I'm not going to print this and um, you can also create a new design from here um, you may want to resize this to another size but it's only available for paid so whatever you see that has uh, this crown here means that you need to upgrade to a paid version now here you can enter the name of the graphic so let's say um, March sale something like that and um, once we have finished our 
design, we could basically download it by clicking the download button here. But right now, our design is empty, so we can't, we wouldn't want really to download it. Right, but also you have options here where you can actually publish it directly to your social media, like on the Facebook page, on Twitter, or on LinkedIn profile, or LinkedIn company page. There are all these integrations that we have here, which is, which is really uh, neat. Now, on the left-hand side, you have different portions of the, of the designer. The first thing you have is templates. So this is basically where you start from. Uh, you select a template. So we selected social media. So there are so many things like sell Facebook post, Halloween Facebook post, food Facebook post, and so on. And there are so many within these categories. As you can see, there's an all button here. For example, if I click sell Facebook post, then I have so many different templates that I could just click and start from there, right? So usually that's what I do. I simply click on one design and then simply edit the text, the images, and so on, and probably the colors if possible, okay? But apart from that, um, you can also go ahead and browse the elements. So you have different elements that can be added to your design. So for example, you can add photos. All right, we have photos and you can also ha um, add different graphics. So let's go back to all where you can actually see there's photos. If I click all, I'm gonna be basically be able to see all free photos that I can embed on my design. There are grids. Um, so grids basically um, allow you to create some advanced layouts, okay, on, on your page. So if I select a grid, I can drop in images on it and then those images will be aligned nicely. Um, and then you have shapes. If you go to O again, you get so many different shapes. You can actually design charts from here and different lines and frames. A frame is basically where you want to um, maybe have an image to look round. So you grab a frame and you drop in the image there. I'm gonna show you in a moment. Right now, let's just go ahead. So you have different illustrations and icons and um, basically uh, a love canva this is a section of showing your love for canva you want to add it on your design let's continue then you have text you can add text on your design uh, first of all you can add by simply saying okay i want to add a heading or a subheading or a, a little bit of body text um, or you could simply grab one of these text templates and simply edit type whatever you want to add then you have backgrounds. So for example, right now our background is just white. So we could basically choose either uh, you want to use images. For example, if I click on this image, that is going to be added as a background. Isn't this nice? So it's added as a background right away. Uh, we could even change colors and overlay colors, something like that. I'm just gonna get it back and click away. But you could also use a solid color. So if I go to solid color and you pick a color that you want, then the whole background is just gonna be a complete solid color. All right, so we started with just adding the colors, but let's go on. Now we have up uploads. On uploads, basically you can add your own images. Uh, for example, your own logo and so on that you'd like to basically use as part of your design. Then we have folders where you could actually create, um, we can create folders, especially if you have a paid account. But right now, because we don't have a paid account, it's a free account, we cannot add folders. There's more stuff, but all these other more stuff are only available if you have a paid account. So how does it work for you to design a graphic in Canva? Let's get started. First thing you would do, is obviously what we have already done at the moment, which is you select the um, type of graphic that you want. The next thing, like my favorite, is basically how you select the uh, template that you would want to use. And then, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, muffins, and then I'll just click this one. All right, it's gonna add all the stuff already. You can see here, I'm just gonna wait for it to load the whole design, everything, the fonts and, uh, and the images and something like that. Great, so we now have a nice looking graphic. Right, so the first, the next thing that we would do is to edit the text and the images we have right now. So I'll go ahead and say, um, and I'll say, uh, for example, success 
uh, muffins. And then um, probably here I'll say, um, okay, say uh, invitation to our bake sale. All right, invitation to our bake sale. All right, uh, let's see. So invitation. I uh, may want to now you can see the N is bleeding uh, next to this I could make this a little bit bigger all right but it's also growing together with the font so I may want to highlight that select that and change the font so whatever you have selected on the canvas for example if I select this text um, you will see the properties at the top here so um, this is the font I could change it to any uh, any font that I would like. They have lots of fonts, lots of nice fonts that you can use. For example, I could take this one. All right, um, that's nice, but then probably the size is too big. So I could go ahead and change my size to, let's change it to something like 42. Right, I think that's perfect. Or probably let's make it bigger, 48. How about that? I think that's great, isn't it? Great, and um, get up to 30% of, okay, whatever, whatever. Let's edit this, and um, um, okay, I'm just gonna undo that by using Control Z on my keyboard, and then we'll select, um, um, all right, so we, I could say visitors at um, get way more for our, um, back sell and get 20% off. All right, that's pretty. Now, the next thing you want to do is probably you can change the colors. For example, I can change the color of, of, of the text uh, to something else. So, first of all, I have to highlight that, inf that, that information. I go at the top and change the color to something different. You can choose all the swatches we have here. For example, I can make it that or that. Let's see how it looks like. Doesn't look nice. Doesn't look contrasted with the background. But um, you can also click the plus sign and select whatever color you want. If you already have your brand colors, then you can simply enter them uh, in the hex codes if you know that. Okay, so probably um, let's try something different. So um, that color or this color or okay I'm just gonna go back to the previous color we have I think this is perfect it blends well with the uh, with, with the cupcake all right now what else can you do um, you can change the alignment you can make things bored and, and, and so on you can make things as a list and there is more you can change the position to make things go back on the back of other elements and so on and so forth right so the next thing we should do is probably um, change the, the, the picture. Now the picture is nice, but you can see there is um, um, basically the word Canva here. And if you have something like this, it shows that this picture it ha it has to be bought. All right. So right now, if I go to publish uh, and say download, you see that it says, okay, there is one premium image, and which uh, I would have to do one time use at one dollar. So I don't want that. So uh, I don't want that. Otherwise, if I still export this, it's gonna have this watermark. So what do we do? We go to elements, all right? Under elements, we go to photos, and I'm just gonna go ahead and search. So I'll search for cupcake. All right, so we actually have other nice free cupcake images. Like we have this cupcake right here. We have those beautiful cupcakes. So many different cupcakes, and these are free images that we could use. I'm gonna use this one, it looks really cute for me. So, all you do is drag it and drop it in place like that. And as you can see, that's perfect. If you want to edit the position of this image, you can double click it and basically just try to move things around. So, uh, first of all, you double click and move things around. I like how it looks like this is really perfect, all right. So once you do this, it means you're done. You're perfect, perfect done. If you want to add other things, like you want to add more text, you can go to text and uh, say, okay, I'm just gonna add a, some body text and uh, I'll type in there. So just click it, it gets added to the graphic and, um, and say, for example, tease 
and I said T's. Yeah, I had T's and C's, but anyway, T's, um, um, probably, uh, and C's apply, all right? So you can basically click that and um, probably put it at the corner, something like that, and we change the color. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a white for that. And as you can see, that's perfect. I could also change the font if I want and go ahead and say, okay, what font should I use? Um, let me use uh, a Leo light. And um, all right, I guess that's perfect. So as you could see, we have our graphic, all right? You can add other things and so on, but this is basically it. And you basically just go ahead and say publish and go ahead and download. And uh, now we don't have any picture to, to, to buy. You go ahead and click download and uh, as it exports, you can see it gives you a quote. It always seems, oh, it's gone, no problem. So I'll go ahead and save that and um, wait as it's downloading right now. So, uh, and, then, and then I close this. So this is as simple as it gets in, in as far as designing your graphics concept. So later I'm not gonna be explaining, but I'm just gonna sh be showing you now how we come up with a different design from this.